And so that's gonna be the option here. And the question is Golden Guardian. All right. What is this flex looking like? Is it again a Sejuani in the bottom lane? Ole played it as a raw support before. Yep. And here this time, and if they free. can crash this wave, that's a Poppy dive angle. Poppy, one of the best champions for diving because you can almost always find a stun against the wall with the E. All right, here we go. Level three gonna be as he finishes the Krugs off. And Chime may have a little health potion, but here we go. Chime, no flash. Instinct, no heal. They're into it. Pushing towards the wall. It's onto Instinct. They get a slow. The flash follow. And Golden Guardians go for broke. And they get the ankles with it. One for nothing. And now Chime going to be three. They reset the tower aggro. Stacks done in the six. Say, do they go for more? The health bar is too low. They decide, you know what? Cut the wave First down. Cool oh, down. okay. Six eight takes the aggro. Two shots. Walks away. Shine's gonna go back. He might trade two. It's two. Away. He will drop a double kill. But it is golden XP dropped in the bottom lane. Yeah. And the blaze is already gone. It doesn't match the TP timer, but you just let him solo bot lane and you play for four v x for for the herald. Right now it is golden gun. All five gonna have zero pretty soon. Oh. Gonna land and Maple just gonna drop. Well done. A stick. Don't city. kill a turret, but keep in mind bot lane has lost a plate already. So that one's gonna have some decent work done toward it. Uh, another recall not coming through for the Umbral Glaive completed Senna. Licorice Force the Ghost away as well. Flash gonna find the stun. Here's the fall through, but it'll buy some time, but not enough. Chimes dropped the aggro. Spica lives as well. A tower dive. TP check quickly. Solos would be up soon, but it, it does look like this is too dangerous of a Drake to contest. And that bot lane lead pays another objective to Golden Guardians. See if he can make a play. Well, solo, Meganar, they want to wait that one out. Here comes the attempted trade, pushing in. They were going to have a Meganar on the wall. Had to go a bit early, but it might still be enough. You got a Bard buying some time with the Cocos coming down. The health comes back in. Stun's going to land. Senna buys a second, but will it be enough? Licorice goes down. Solo finds his kill. Speak a low, but he's not in tower range, and River cannot finish the job. This has been the bright spot for TSM. Another well-played move in the top lane. They're gonna go for more, possibly wow. River. River goes for broken, shoves around, but blocks up Solo, and that's gonna be oh. low falling. A huge outplay River. He should die to the night, and he will do so. Chime gets one back, a one front off some heroics. So of course they wanna push for more, but a good TP coming in right there means that even if they get the kill on this dive, they're gonna lose at least one on the other end. And now get the fight towards Sola here, trying to make the big plays. Has Meganar and Ole. A little bit alone. Here comes a Bard. Flashes. He's got six to coming around. He's going to be camouflaged. Okay. They might find the re-engage. Speaker does not go the right way. I think he wanted to what? not go in the pit. I think he wanted to be in the fight. I'm not sure. But he's going to dive in now for a bit more. If he can land the W, if he can land the slow, this could be a pretty good fight. But OK, Got he's going to land it onto Stick Say. Bardolt lands one. This should be a stun. There should be minions in the way. Will oh, it be enough, it could though? Could be turn. River's Speaking here. getting hit. His ult's going to end in a second. Does River have it? River has a blue smite. He tackles a minion to get the move speed. Slow it up. The double stun comes in for Chime. Huge. I think that might have saved the life. All right, everybody back away. Nothing to see here. No kills. Woo! More. The, the flip side of this is it is very easy to punish him in scrims. <laughs> so people, this is actually he something. To go in and he's gonna try and he's Ooh. gonna get it. Wow, he's River. over at peril. But a fight. Yeah, a double ult though, buying some time for Chime. Nice scoop by Maple. Is it gonna be enough? A quick shield for Senna. Meganar scoops in the wall, flash the safety. Well, oh, so nothing. good. Absolutely huge and Golden Guardians that they had gotten the Herald. But they've Watching this one more time. It is just a 5v5 at the Rift Herald. And even though, Half-heartedly one tricks, yeah. playing their one tricks. Like I want to yeah, see yeah, more yeah. Riven from from Revenge. I want to see more Bard from Chime because this is what happens on it. Which is why yeah. when they do play it is often successful because yeah. they can see it. But here's another fight. Yeah, looking pretty good right there. Chime get it over the wall safely as Ole will not be slowed. He will jump over. As the blast plan is in his speaker, so we're running pretty fast. Thank you, Siver. Ulti on a one. Ole knows he's gonna die. He's gonna go ahead and just be meat for the grinder. Falls is it down. Just how how mobile they are on the map with Sivir Ultimate combined with Bard Tunnels. They're showing up in places where Golden Guardians doesn't expect them to. From here on out, the itemizing force towards the magic damage of the Gwen and the Corky that he'll be against in these fights. Turret so goes I think down. is actually in the right place. TSM is making a different call though to go elsewhere and he, he might be caught. They try to get him here. He's got Meganar available. When's he gonna walk in for this one? Double stunned in it too, but they know he's gonna die for it. They're gonna trade one back. Oh, they killed Licorice. Gwen got caught out. She walked to catch mid, I believe, and just got killed for it. So one for one and kills. Mid lane tier two will drop. And there could be a team fight as well. Keep in mind, because it is a it's four a on four, four. four. Neither team has a top laner. Stun lands again, but Spika is not the target. You really can't get through him. His ult was up in the first place. So now another cooldown missing. Okay. Huge is this this could be a real engage. Is it going to happen here? The flanky bar. Down the flash stun. It's going to happen, but Chime will die. One for one, jungle for support. And the bar portal goes the wrong way, so it's gonna be it's gonna be time to run. But will they catch Blaze Hollow? Flash comes in, slow's gonna land. Double root comes across though. 
plays all these get away. Maple flashes, Maple will kill. And it's gonna be TSM plus one in the fight. Barely catches him with the ultimate there. So I think that's a mistake from Licorice right there. They were getting the Drake and a kill. Kind of an indefensible turret, but another fight. Yeah, River barely stays alive. Speaking of the same, both jungler's low. Stopwatch, ooh, gets the stun, but Valkyrie's able to come through. And here comes a re-engage. There's enough though. Licorice, ghost available, but does not find his way back into the fight. So no kills. Mid-tier two solo would have pinned him to the wall. That would have been a kill. Oh. Could be claimed, and they will find the first one. Right Chime will edge. get this done, and they're gonna get a little bit more as well. Here comes the rest of the dive. What's gonna happen? Ole holds the front for now, but he will drop. Senna ult is late. The TP now comes in to reinforce. TSM can go for Baron here. It's too dangerous for Golden Guardians to check. An all-off Tempered Fate landing. That pick that gave them Baron. Tempered Fate from downtown. Chime lands 40 it. minutes if they end up pulling it off. So they need to break it in hip and really accelerate this game with this Baron buff. All right, another new TSM roster. Might be one and one in this look. Uh, an improvement over what they had earlier on uh, in the prior split. Yeah. As well as earlier on even in this one. Uh, and looking to kind of close one out now. A nice little split push by Gwen. Knocks down a single turret. Uh, bounty is not available. Not down enough for that to matter. Golden Guardians are up the Drake technically. As we get the wave clear going yet again. Instinct chunked a little bit low, but the poke just not that strong from AD Corky, of course. A uh, bit of damage comes across and another tempered fate. This could be an easy scoop, but they want to get more. Flash is forced out. Meganar is going to find one. Down goes Senna, and they're going to go for more. Double kill already, and it's going to be everything to do. They've got package. A blaze all of wants in. Catch the bait. Goes for solo. Flashes back. Will not burn. Three unanswered kills, and there's the scoop in for Maple. There's going to be the last one. Ole will die. The Bud Light Ace and TSM have finally found a roster that works. They'll find their fourth win. They will end this week with a dub, knocking down Golden Guardians. Moving into a tie with Golden Guardians at four and nine. And TSM did it this game. They, they generally... Not in this build, but Aatrox gonna be the grab. Yeah. It's gonna be his third pick on Aatrox. Now his most played of the split. Yeah, Impact as well has played Sejuani twice this split, both victories. He played Inspired in the is now he knows Jose's up there. Yeah, that's the only thing Inspire needed to defend against in the early game was a possible dive with the way the other two lanes had been warded and pushed up. So really good job being there. Big trade by Jojo, trying uh -oh. to get aggressive. Over the wall, this could be a kill. He's going to flash, and the last stab comes through. Jojo Pyun trades him low. Inspire gets the rest of the way, and the kill comes through first blood to Jojo Pyun. And they get the flash. So that's a terrible start for the Akali in this matchup. And just such a spectacular start for the Azir. Normally it's just the ability to push a move, but to actually get a kill out of this and then Mid the kill. And bot had the pressure, so guess what? You're not bringing your top laner down to play for a six minute dragon and then, you know, slink back to top lane. So uh, Drake is gonna be guaranteed, good amount of attacks. Just so they can stay focused. Like now, Vulcan and Danny are like, well, we, we talk about that trash. Uh -oh. We can't just Danny. lose now. Danny, that was way too much. This is gonna be uh -oh. a kill. You gotta believe it. He's Flash follow. Dead. Yeah, one more oh! shot. Oh! Jack, you cursed him. To go for it. Now they're just gonna kind of posture around it and hope to get a pick somewhere. Afro, level six doesn't want to burn his ult if he can help it. Of course, he is flashless. Next combo comes in, might have to go for it here. So now he comes through, he will do so. Pulverize, head buff, and now Azir is on. And that's going to be a kill picked up. Jojipion gets his second now. Oh. And Akali is a bit locked in place. We'll try to go for big trades. Needs the R, gets the first bit. She's on fire, though, and is going to flash to get back out of the tower to stay alive. Another win for EG, but Philip is first to move, so they still might look to continue this. Actually, could have been a kill on the Vulcan. If that kick lands, he doesn't flash away. Oh! He gets that back. That was so nice. Jojo Pion drops that bowling ball again. I think it was forced that he flashed away, but still gets brought back by uh, the Aatrox. Wants to go for more. Clones away, but should feel pretty comfy here. Philip, honestly. New Gordon's come in soon. Lee Sin got to find himself a slow, but no energy. And this point, this, this is going to be a pull that works. Oh, it does. Missing. It's going to get him. And that's going to be impact falling. Will not matter. The semi revived. He'll kill him anyway. Philip on the board again. Three to two. Fly crush. Basically, the one touching mid lane, the one near blue, the one in the river itself. And now Inspire going to come from no the top fly. side. Philip stun into stun into Wukong follow up. There's no way you get the rest of this one. I got to believe. Gore Drinker not available yet. And I mean, he can get out of control and is very willing to delay the Dragon Soul. I think that top laner didn't carry. That's true. Yeah, so. <laughs> he still won. <laughs> still won. No, you're totally right, though. That has definitely historically been a really strong point for him. Just being able to play from the weak side. Him again? Yeah, three v one. I mean, dead? it's okay. We had both sides of it, right? Sure. You had, hey, he's gonna play from behind. I'm like, yeah, but he fed last game. So, you know, either way, we're playing both sides. We always come out ahead, chat. I mean, this is really slow. First turret goes to Callista. Renata is on the way. He's looks super dead though. 
And Phil gonna take a bit of damage there, but it's gonna be fine. Flash the way Ignite should not kill him. Last tick not gonna be nearly enough, but now look out of the bottom lane. Gale oh! Force! One for one! Whoa! Another kill onto Johnson there. Could have been a disaster for FlyQuest, but again, they get just enough to stay in it. Getting the kill on Akali, also super clutch. Jose, I think just trying to defend this turret. Doesn't have any kill threat onto Inspired, you would think. Knows where he is. But he's also a very good elite. Wow, flashy for the slow. Is that really gonna be enough damage though? He's purely going for the solo kill now. Jose Diego flashed in to nearly kill himself. Has to kick away. No, he did. Flashes in the kill. I thought for sure Jose would have kill threat after he continued on, because I'm like, there's no way he goes for it. Then he just burns everything. Like, that wasn't even close. No, it was. <laughs> he got like 30 percent Because the damage is actually quite a bit more front loaded. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, he's just like, okay, I'll just heal against you and win. Mid lane tier two gonna drop now as well, Th or tier one, I should say, but it's three to zero in turrets as a result. Inspired wants in on a Philip now. We'll smite away the Gromp. We'll find a knockup and Philip. Be careful, buddy, because Danny would like to come in on that one. We'll do so. Gord are not gonna matter. They're gonna get that kill. A rampage now inspired. If on, they go yeah. for it, if they, if they keep farming it on cooldown, rend probably 1200. Oh, wait, there you go. 1k. Yeah. Close enough to accurate. Coordinated reset by EG. One thing I did want to mention about EG, though, with their 10 and 2 record, uh, I absolutely think they deserve it, but the way that they lose games is not necessarily that surprising. Like, they take so many fights because they believe their mechanics are better, which is just naturally going to be a higher variance playstyle. So they had that close game against Immortals yesterday. They had the close loss to 100 Thieves when they dropped a game. Multiple and they've had games this split where they've been down in gold and then team fought their way back to victory. This game, they are playing with the lead. Manning top lane to Philip. This community attack over the walls. Wukong, yep, there he is. First knockup, here come the stuns. No way you live this one right. There's really nothing to do. Big Gordinger heal is going to be <laughs> yeah, nice, but he man. cannot get the rest of the heals over the wall. He goes and Inspired is unstoppable. Philip goes up for a wave as his team is playing topside, but Jojo Pyun, it's a 1v3 there as well, but they don't do anything. Yeah, I mean, Inspired and Jojo neck and neck for richest players in the game. They're both close to 9,000 gold. Really nice play there. I believe by EG because they get the kill and they're putting themselves on soul point at 23 minutes and they're in full control. There we go. Mountain Soul, even more of the possibilities. Mountain Soul, of course, by itself naturally scales uh, off the armor and MR that you have. Pretty damn good damage towards Philip attacked again, pushed around, tries to heal, and it just isn't gonna happen. Gore Drinker, ulti or not, it's another one for nothing, and now it's oh. done. Jigui able to turn back invisible, and Johnson's gonna be okay for now. The mid turret will crash, it will nearly die, and one strong breeze will knock that down. Minions huff and puff. And who's gonna auto-attack it? Danny. You didn't want that gold. It's 550 yeah. right they there want for it. taking. Half for Moose Hope. They, they have Infernum Gun if they could get a big knock-up from Alistair and then blow them up with the Aphelio Salty, but it it's it's not gonna happen. It's gonna be claimed. No attempt at the top. Side. If this continues to be in EG favored game. Oh, as we're, we might see a fight in the jungle here. Looking at it on Danny. Does he have what he needs right now? Judge not gonna burn much else. And there's the stun of Berserk. He's gonna get away for now, but here comes the re-engage after the front line. Has Yildi up for now, but he's still gonna drop. One for Jojo. Scoop comes in, and it's gonna be a deletion. Everyone's gonna fall here. Fly Quest will die at the hands of evil. Four kills picked up. Jose Diodo left alone. He they can try to wave clear. He's gonna get shot down. The Bud Light Ace, a triple kill. Mountain Soul not needed. FlyQuest decide they want to look for the play, they want to look for the kill, and they get not a one. Absolutely. FlyQuest was not trying to delay the inevitable. They figured they may as well go out on their terms. They tried to get a fight. They didn't get it. EG was scaling. EG was ahead. They make short work of FlyQuest and take him down in just over 27 minutes. 27 minutes indeed. The Nexus will fall. We're not going to see a fountain dive. They're playing far enough away. Jojo Pion walks up. Knocks it down, and Evil Geniuses remain in first place. A really solid start. So Olaf confirming it was 12-13 that lane Olaf got nerfed. The okay. Undertow got nerfed in mana, uh, as well as some of the health are now level six. Jungler's getting closer to it. You can see Blaver's EXP in the bottom left of your screen about halfway there. C9 goes for a play, but they are not going to find Han Sama. They do get his flash, but it costs Ben's flash to do so. Ooh, look at this wraparound from Blabber. Hecram can come past the tower and knock him forward. No He's flash! ready to go. The heal gets used. Berserker goes forward. Hans goes down. And C9 goes back for more. Core JJ burns away. Look at that. Two of C9 
a little bit over a thousand gold. They're gonna take this first Drake as well. They've got control over bottom lane still. Sven and Berserk are playing this 2v2 very aggressively, always maintaining control in that matchup. It buys Blabber the up. Um, you know, Hecarim uh, does have an unstoppable ultimate though that you can use oh to get away from charms. This is trouble for Fudge. Rum, rum, rum. Dirksen comes in, the charm lands. Fudge stays alive for a lot longer than I gave him credit for, but it ends up being a one for one. Jensen swoops in and takes out Whippo. They're leaving the top tower. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. I love what they're doing here in the mid lane. Santorin setting it up so they're able to take out Jensen. Huge stuff because not only do they make the flash play and kill Jensen, get that extra kill in mid lane tower, they give solo tower gold on top side to the Kogma Fowlers. This is all going to the Rage Blade Fund. Oh boy, Team Liquid having an awesome series of events there. Them recognizing how efficient that item is as Cloud9 is moving going on. For it. The wrap around on Core JJ. Blabber's coming around from the side, but can they find what they're looking for? Core JJ is going to be down to about 25%, and he's gone. Team Liquid flashing their jungler out of trouble, but Blabber looking to run him down. Whippo's in the middle of everybody trying to cut through, but he can't do it. Blabber stays tanking. The bailout will not save him. Bjergsen gets one back. Nice. has been picked up, oh but boy. the Team Liquid oh hit boy. squad is coming for Jensen again. Jensen get out of there. Run! All right, can he get out? Does he have any chance? I don't no. think he does. No, he's, he's getting Beybladed. He's getting charmed. Oh, they're just they're just toying with him now. Centaurin's taking the kill credit early, and then just make space for this Kogma Lulu uh, to spit out damage. Whippo's gonna run out of the Ragnarok here soon. Remember, only two and a half seconds you have to be dealing damage between each instance before it falls off. So yeah. as soon as Fudge disengages, not gonna find anything onto the Cloud Nine members. C9 backs up a little bit. Hans is so deadly. Blabber has to be so careful about getting in range of him. Yeah, so there Hagro is the heck group. Blabber's ready to go in. Santorin looking to disengage it. Flashing back out now with the ulti. They nearly kill Blabber. Team Liquid makes Cloud9 think twice about it. Nice charm coming up from Bjerg. They're gonna save Sven there with Berserker's ulti. Team Liquid trying to get back away. With both <laughs> saved by Core JJ. Both Low health members. It does leave this Baron in darkness for Team Liquid though, and Cloud9. This is a small advantage they got out of this fight for Team Liquid. They're looking for the picks here. Gotta be careful. Fudge coming around from the side, but remember, it's Team Liquid here waiting on the flank. They're gonna find Fudge. They're looking for him with Santorin and Whippo. Whippo now on the front line. He's gonna be killed off first. Team Liquid lose their top laner. Blabber now locked down in the front, but there's that stopwatch. Team Liquid have lost two, and Jensen's looking to make it three. He chases after Burek and forces him back over the wall. C9 win the fight. C9 win the soul. They get everything, Flowers. They get the soul. They get the kills on the front line. Team Liquid were split. They were sectioned off. It was a, a fight really like that. It keeps Blabber alive so he can smite the objective down afterwards. And now C9. This gold lead is about to balloon even further. The Baron is started up by C9. They are daring Team Liquid to come and answer. Rend, rend, this is rend. just going to be bursted down. There's no way in. The Team Liquid, now they got to try to get away as Blabber jumps in, and Blabber just gets destroyed. Bailout's not going to save him. Sven tries to get away now, too. Whippo runs down Fudge as Sven tries to escape. Santorin is on top of Berserker. That's all they going to do. Going over to Team Liquid. Santorin staying alive for a little bit moment longer. He's going to be taken down by Berserker, but what happens to C9 now? The axes are flying, and Sven's still dying. Whippo tries to find another, but Berserker's able to get away. Way. TL may have lost the Baron, but they find three attempts at these plays and then healing right back up. Yeah, as long as you damage something, even neutral objectives. And you can see Jensen was getting the wave time. Gonna happen. TL has to know that this Ren smite is coming. They have to go they before 2K. To know they got to get in there. Dragon's gonna reset now. Here we go. The fight's ready to break out now, and Sven is already down. Blabber stuck in the middle of everybody as Whippo will try to cut Jensen to pieces. The shutdown comes through for Bjerg, and C9 scrambles to try to find a little bit more here in the fight. Berserker's still going forward, and they've turned it around. Goes, snip, snip, and Bjergsen's looking a lot like paper. He keeps chasing. Berserker's right behind him, and they're ready to go. Fudge with a hop, skip, and jump over the wall, and Bjergsen tries to continue the escape. Blabber wants to run down Whippo, but it's a little bit too dangerous underneath that turret. Oh my god, they were deciding to surrender this one. We had them dance around that fight for what felt like three or four minutes. It didn't earn. There's little risk here at all. C9 with both super buffs here for the next two minutes. Team Liquid has to dig in and weather the storm.
Bjergsen will take down a tier two in the process. Just grab that before it's time to head back and probably defend. These remaining tier two turrets on the side of TL here in the side lanes will be knocked down incredibly easy by this Baron buff, Elder buff, C9 squad. Berserker is five items with the sixth slot being occupied by a stopwatch. It's scary. The turret, look at that thing. It's already gone. C9 Wait, what brute the? forcing their way <laughs> into the Team Liquid base. Yeah, now you see it, now you don't. Cloud9 make it disappear, and they're not done yet. They're gonna push for Nexus turrets here, all five, with Baron buff. They've huh. got the Baron, they've got the Elder. They know how strong they are right now. They really wanna just get the most out of this they can. Hans will try to remove as many of those minions as possible, but he's already down to one third HP. C9 take the chance and they go for the throat. They take the first Nexus turret as Team Liquid has to regroup and heal their AD carry. 37 seconds left on this Elder Dragon buff. That is the big game changing buff right now they're using to brute force this. It's going to fall off uh, in one more minion wave. So they have this minion wave. This is the one to protect. This is the one to end the game on. All right. Do they go for it? Hans Power. firing off those auto attacks. It's putting a lot of pain in people. Blabber's looking for the angle, seeing if he can go in. They're gonna take down the tower, and now it's a fair fight. Santorin's jumping into the middle of everybody, but Blabber's gonna grab the kill on the Whippo. Now as Bjergsen is golden in the middle of everybody. C9 just blast off. Double kill back over to Berserker. The Elder Dragon roars, and C9 defeat Team Liquid. Away from us from the team fight. Uh, stuff here for hundred thieves. I kind of like this angle, and there's that engage I was looking for for okay. the for the immortal side. They lock it in with that. It was a cloud, so those generally don't have as much pressure, as much priority on them compared to some of the other ones. Can we can just secure that one nice and easy. No knife for a possible turn there. Support roam timer for Ignar is a little bit quicker. Ooh. Envy taking a lot of damage though. Abadaga with some nice side steps, but not nice enough. First blood over to Revenge as who he's got to try to get out of town. But Ignar's gone fishing and can be gets it. I think the kills for Immortals and the Dragons yeah. will shortly follow and be even one on one. So after 16 minutes, the teams have pretty much fought to a standstill, except now we're going to see that change a little bit here as the Herald charges in for the first turret in mid lane. Power of Evil getting jumped on here by 100 Thieves. That he could bring to the rest of the team. They decide to send the rest of the team to him. All right, some days going in. Transforms into the Mega Nar, but he whiffs it. The ulti doesn't hit. Closer goes in for an ulti of his own as Revenge tries to flash in and make the hero move, but not this time. Yep, not able to get it. 100 Thieves, too many displacements. They whiff the Nar ultimate, so they give him the kick. Closer knocks him into the wall. They get the kill on the tower. Will be traded here for the bottom side play, but plus one kills for 100 Thieves. They're rewarded for that proactivity. Going up to their strong side there, playing off of Someday again. It will be traded back as Immortals grab the fraction of a second away from getting a Gore Drinker heal there. As now the Talia wall comes out, and Immortals got to be a little bit careful about what's going on here, or do they? It's Closer taking a lot of damage as Revenge swoops in, and Power of Evil's looking to lock them up. The dredge line goes out, and Abadaga flashes away. Seismic can shell separates somebody. Can they pick somebody? Can they disengage Swain? Closer throwing out the Sonic Wave. There goes the Gragas salty who he losing about half HP as Power of Evil goes into the ulti of his own. He'll try to zone them away, but he's got to be careful. His health bar is dropping low. Immortals zone them out, and they'll take And will be able to get a tower for their trouble. So a dragon number two. Hex dragon's quite nice. Uh, also, we can see uh, Immortals are utilizing the... Well, never mind. Maybe we have a trailing uh, gank here. Someday going to knock him the wall. Someday's looking to take him out. The turret still hanging on by One just attack. a sliver. Got it. And Revenge should not get away from it's, this one. It's actually... It's Five actually... seconds before the Drake spawns. I expect both teams to be willing to fight for this. Abadaga, nice. see what he can find here, but Abadaga oh. is the one who is found. Kim grabs the kill. That's actually so hilarious. Uh, Abadaga probably won't get broken until our actual Dragon Soul fight. Yeah, there's no reason for anybody to really commit those to use them here. So I don't know, I think it would bang. Yeah, Orange has been getting played a lot in uh, LCK recently. Exactly. We, we haven't seen it in a while. Here's the actually gets a little closer. Three yeah, that's minutes. why we're talking about truck. Three right. minutes is a long way off, but oh, you can burn maybe flashes. it's not a farm fest. If Kuhi just dies, Lost takes the credit. Picked like last time, give that away for free. 
So it looks like we're going to have a bit of a standoff here in mid lane as the waves get shoved out. Ooh, nicely done. Power of Evil now going to be thrown forward. He's very, very... Whoop. I don't know, is he going to survive this one? Flashes away from the seismic shove. Nice to done. Stay alive. Someday's coming in, and 100 Thieves are looking to go even further. Kenvi's already on a killing spree, though, as Closer has jumped in, trying to find a little bit more. Immortals have already lost two. 100 Thieves have only lost a one. Revenge is on the run, and Someday's on the chase. Seismic shove going <gasps> to find the Aatrox, and Someday's stopwatch buys time. Lost tries to fight, but 1v4, not even the power of K-pop's going to save you. Hundred thieves run him over. Flowers, this game has been determined by individual picks. Power of Evil gets picked off, and Hundred Thieves run it straight through their base. It's only Ignar left. I think this is just the end of the game. Hundred Thieves, four members on the Nexus Stars. Ignar trying to do everything he can. Ignar wants to just try to get enough time for his teammates Goodbye. to respawn. He can't do it. That's the game. One fight, one game, 100 Thieves. Just like... Auto attacks, plus you can run him down later. Oh, they or, don't have faith in him. Or, I got another option for you. They don't have faith in him. <laughs> and they don't. GP is often picked as behind early, and he, he's probably going to have to gank if he wants his team to win, and Trundle not naturally the strongest ganker, so... Slows on slows, maybe gets something happening, and they're fighting. Hey, let's go! Boom, gonna pull one in there. Spawn going straight for the Ignite already down. Spawn in trouble, level one. It's absolute carnage in the bottom side, and Draven couldn't even cash in. Still gets the first blood, but Bayer finds one back, but Luger hunting for a second. Oh! Oops, oh, goes in the wrong direction. Oh, Luger's gonna keep my. on ordering. One more is all he needs, and Luger God. finds two. Uh, a huge deal, but it, it's there's more no cat. That's the that's the one bright spot. He didn't get the cash. <laughs> cash there's just like two five. regular kills. But watch this. That's a level one flashless Renata. Hey, oh, beautiful Beetle killer out of XQ. Boop, that boop, should be boop. a kill. Oh, goodness, handshake. He's gonna get him out of there. XQ forced to flash away. Now in the power he goes. The power is gonna flash away. Contract still fighting. Power swoops back in, and that's a kill onto the enemy jungler for CLG. This is great. <laughs> real, real all in there. Look for those execution kills. Xyz bottom, no? Yeah, wrapping around, trying to make it happen. Luger, they're already with the flash, and they might just stand and fight the 2v3. Oh. In goes Draven. Luger wants the kill. He's not going to get it. Biofrost gets away, and now Spawn and Xyz still fighting, and Luger should go down. The last axe, though, does get some gold. Did you, he actually quite nicely played by Dig. Uh, you can tell they have the appropriate amount of respect for the two-kill early Draven. Yeah. Xyz backs off during the ignite. They wait for the handshake. Balfrost immediately jumps out, does still want... just barely enough damage there, eked out by Luger. Another fight here. Contract still fighting Bio, gonna be forced to flash away. Handshake finds it, XU the target. Contract goes the in, turret. Oh, just going for it. And Luger's just run through everything. And now oh, Contract oh, not getting a bail. Now Biofrost able to catch that kill, but Spawn is gonna go down. It's Poom that collects the Power Fox here as well. Now level six has the flash. There's gonna be a fight, man. Yeah, they get it. Oh, XU oh, wanted no. to try and steal it, but now he's just completely trapped with no flash. That's gonna be an extra. Bit on top of the Herald as Power Fox gets some gold. Yeah, yeah, everyone's over and over. Mm. Uh, forcing here with the Zin Zhao as well as the bottom lane, and they're right back to it again. Boom, boom, boom caught. No flash. Couple. Biofrost here, no ulti though, but Lucas just going in for it. You have to make sure it happens. Bail out there. Boom! Not going to get bailed out, but it will be a trade. Draven gets some more gold. Make it a second as spawn goes down. <laughs> also, once they do inevitably start getting kills, Pike also, ge Pike yeah, yeah. also generates gold. That's awesome. That's a away. Three minutes till the dragon is up, but we're not going to be playing for a quick soul here, given that they split the drakes. It's nice and early. However, Luga keeps on rolling on the Draven as he's going to take the bottom out of tower as well for the extra money. He's actually just skewing the dra Let's the, fight. The grass. Let's fight. Contracts, goodbye. That's a kill for Blue. Kill for someone. Draven's already in there. Oh my goodness. Palafox. Whoa. He got in there. Contracts is still alive. Getting himself bailed out. XQ finally going to get the kill they were looking for, but. Oh, er, ah, it's so unlucky. The objective bounties aren't up yet. Well, Contrax is going go. for it. On we go to XU. Gonna try and fight the enemy jungle. Contrax pops the ulti. He has the own ulti to come through on the other side, but Poom already getting himself killed. Jet the Prophet finds it as XU does go down to Contrax and Hoon. Now in trouble, pushed back by Pala. Is that the double kill for CLG's jungler? Very well, as you mentioned. So they'll be very comfortable in later game team fights. Yeah, uh, he's definitely going to be in the position to kill the Has he gotten any cuts? Zero is my guess. It's been close. I think he'd hover over the ultimate. Nope. 
zero. Zero so it's far. It's a goose egg right now. But it oh could boy. be more. There's potential. Your, your cut is zero right now. All right. Here we go. Trouble. Cut him. Oh, good ulti, though, as he moves out of there. But uh, no follow-up, unfortunately, for CLG. Coom still a little low. The Victor ulti is chasing under contracts. He's eating a decent amount of damage. But all the while, Dokla being left alone in the top side of the map. And Luger is just face-checking the enemy. Yeah, this is CLG paying Dokla back. They say, all right, we'll hang out with four in mid lane. You can get that turret top. But this is... Get a cut! A little too far. Flash out the way. Ignite. There's the bone skewer flip into the Victor slot. Right, into the stun. Boom. Into the kill. Hey! And there we go. Fire or just get enough control to take the Baron. Let's see if they can pull it off. Well, Firefrost actually had to walk through a lot of very scary territory, but Contract's now going to be the first one caught. His own ulti on the way. Don't already popped the ulti as well, and the damage is just a little bit too much. Spawn, though, he's going to hop away, but XU's not so lucky. And there's the double out of Luger. Looking for the third as Blue eats an axe. And who now on the front line? Going to be burnt down by Dokla, who TP'd in and sealed. All right. Baron should be acquired. There's not a very high probability of a steal with Pike and um, Victor yeah. being the only two ones. Very cautiously optimistic. <laughs> they can start to come out of the yeah. out of the shadows now. That's a lot of gold there for Luger. 13,500 just cruising here in this game. Sealed his total gold lead, by the way. FTX gold advantage. Hey, well Moon got the gold. objective bounty. Well, get the objective bounty, so. <laughs> Chopped it down a little That's bit. That's got to uh, be maximum objective bounty, right? Because it, it is increased the for how far you are behind. And if you're behind over 11,000 gold. I hope gold, so, Kobe. It's got to be maxed out. Extra 300 gold is what it tells us. Yeah. And going to be more as well. CLG just busting down towers with this Baron. Already took the inhibit tower in the bottom side. Going to keep on growing that gold lead here in mid. Going to have two inhibs down and the base is ready. But CLG are going to leave. A minute left on Baron. They've decided to fall back to the Cloud Dragon. All right, flip side. Uh-huh. We've already talked about how many ways Dignit... Like, they could be just setting up to get more bonus gold. So think about it. They now have access to two waves of super mutants. You can farm those. Oh my god. It was already the free Ornn items, which are starting to cash in. They've and given over so many geez, stats. It's going to keep on growing. CLG just slow and steady, clinical, easy. Yeah. Freezing through the it. game. I mean, and they, the way they got here. From adoration. 1,358 gold. <laughs> he did get a 755 cash, and that's legit. Here's Contracts. Ooh, He's contracts in. Contracts going for spawn. Just going straight in there. Not afraid. They're not ulti out. Luger already dominating. XU just evaporates in front of my eyes. And CLG just going to keep on trucking. Taking out the top side as well. Three inhibs down. Tower's now falling as well. CLG can, I don't know. This will likely do it. We'll see. Dokla's got to get that wave in. Poop flashes. And you know what that means. At, he's not dead yet, but I do know what it means. His demise is imminent, but CLG's win seems to be all but inevitable. Contract going to get rendered to bits. So Power Fox, big old Scoopy Whoopy, pushes two into the waiting arms of CLG. Does die, <laughs> oh, though. No. I knew you guys were cursing Does it. Does die, though. I know. knew you guys were cursing it. Oh, Dig boy. Dig us to bed. Dig us. Yes, this is a long way away. Baron, by but the way, for CLG, nice and easy. Yeah, the origin of Dignitas was actually it was a team called Rock. Our jerseys had even been mailed to us. Nice. But we were Dignitas. Oh, goodness. This GPO is looking kind of spicy. We're going to have to get out of there. Flashes out of the way. In hips back, but not for long. CLG knocking down one in mid. Only one tower stands between them and the Nexus, and I guess Dignitas as well. But CLG this time, surely, Kobe. Surely. The game's gonna end. Spawn gonna get caught. Good little stopwatch there. The damage back on blue. Ooh. Very nice. Luger actually caught in stasis. Oh no, he's gonna get bailed out. But he doesn't get the kill. Still, the Nexus open and next to you. Low there as Contracts looks to try and get the snipe there with the W. Doesn't grab it, but Spawn's gonna get crushed by the rest of the damage. And Power Fox left alive. That's more than enough carry. CLG are gonna sweep their weekend. Never in doubt. But honestly, important weekend for CLG as they farm DPM on the fountain to get the 2-0. This was the situation FlyQuest was in last week. Needing a 2-0 against...